The Nika IBEW Powering America team is behind some of the most impressive electrical feats in North America. Whether it's the glow of some of our biggest cities or the power that runs through our hospitals and schools, the Powering America team supplies energy to our communities from coast to coast. And the success of our work has always started with the success of our apprenticeship program and the training centers themselves. But in order to run a successful JATC, some would say it all starts with the committee group program at the Electrical Training Alliance's National Training Institute, held annually in Ann Arbor, Michigan. The C group is where JATC committee members, local union and chapter officers, and training directors come together to experience the most comprehensive meeting of apprenticeship and training matters ever offered. From legal and financial responsibilities to the evolution of our standard curriculum, Simply put, it's training on how to run a successful JATC business. Apprenticeship is really where our workforce comes from, whether they're apprentices or journeymen taking up grade classes. They're all getting trained at the apprenticeship, so keeping it functional and up to date is critical to keeping our workforce ready to go. It's to help individuals with the IBW, NECA, and of course the apprenticeship to understand what the responsibilities and liabilities exposures are. And that's what makes a program successful, not just what you're training and what you're teaching, but how you're managing the trust itself and the funds and where the money's being spent. The JATC committee, the trustees, uh, they have the fiduciary responsibility to know and be knowledgeable of a lot of these rule changes and whatnot. So having them here in a setting like this, it's really important for them to continue that kind of education throughout their time as a JATC trustee. Lectures like Budgeting in Times of Uncertainty, Business Insurance 101, and Nuts and Bolts of JATC Governing Documents solidify compliance and fiduciary responsibilities to help committee members and trustees run the best JATCs possible. But it's the networking in between sessions that continues to be added value. Having everyone together under the roof of NTI, we meet old friends, colleagues from across the country, we come together, share information about what's happening in our own jurisdictions. And, and to be honest, I've gotten some of the best ideas for training from my counterparts from across the country. There's nowhere else you can go where you're going to see this many people doing basically the same thing, but in different ways. And it's always interesting to me to see those different ways and how other apprenticeships are doing it. They may have an idea that just makes it click. While it's the industry leaders that attend the C Group training at NTI, the information learned reaches far beyond the campus at the University of Michigan. The industry is at a whole new level of growth and uh, an opportunity. And to have my staff educated in what we're supposed to be doing as in a program to, to service the industry, to, to train apprentices, to provide the necessary training for journeyman wiremen, we all need to know what's going on. It can't be just centralized with the one director, the committee, the staff. Everyone has a role to play in developing and maintaining an effective program to service the industry. The apprentices benefit, the, uh, the union benefits, the employers benefit, and the customers benefit. So being able to supply trained people to go out and do high-tech work and have them hit the ground running, that's just, uh, it's very important. It takes dedication to create a flourishing apprenticeship training program. But in the end, it is worth that effort because our workforce's success relies on the success of our training centers. When our apprentices and journeymen are given the resources they need, we are able to mold the most skilled workforce on the planet. And that skilled workforce is out there for our customers, bringing their projects to life on time and under budget. NECA can't survive without IBW, and IBW can't survive without NECA. The apprenticeship has the unique position of being in the middle of those, and yet they have so much ability to make or break what we're doing in our, in our jurisdictions with how they're training and, and what these individuals are coming out with knowledge-wise. If you want your apprenticeship to grow, this is the best place to learn how to do that. There are so many ideas and so many people here willing to help you. 
The committee group at NTI, where our NECA IBEW Powering America team apprenticeship is molded. From Ann Arbor, Michigan, I'm Will Kingston. Be sure to follow our social media for behind the scene extras and industry information. 